Hey everybody, Yak here. Welcome back to the Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain, episode number three. Uh, let's do a quick little status report here. Made it up to the cave at the top of the rope. First rope at the uh, at the waterfall, where the uh, creek starts there that leads down to Crystal Lake. So here we go. We're 87% condition. We're ravenous. Let's go ahead and eat real quick while we chat a little bit here. And uh, looks like I did get a response from the uh, producers from Kona. They are currently on break right now. For the holidays, uh, but they are going to go ahead and uh, said basically if they don't, if I don't hear back from them by Friday, just uh, shoot them another email. But uh, yeah, I think Jeff was like, "Oh no, I better nip this in the bud because I'm getting bombarded by uh, by requests and emails and tweets and stuff from you guys about this accurized guy and how he sh yeah he should do a uh, get a preview key so he can do a, do some videos on this game." And uh, he ended up responding pretty quick after I. Uh, did a little call to action from you guys so thank you so much for that it seemed to have worked at least we got their attention sometimes you gotta hit them in the head with a hammer in order to stand out okay so we're no longer that hungry um, I think what we probably want to do is we just want to recover our condition a little bit more it's 12 hours of daylight left um, now we did just walk outside this is the far side of the cave away from the uh, the engine I think I'm gonna walk back and uh, because I do believe that there is a, uh, I do believe that there is a, uh, I think we're going to need to go that way. But I do believe that there's a container near the engine compartment. So we're going to want to check that out. And plus I kind of like to see if that wolf died that we got into the uh, little tussle with where we suffered the abrasions. That makes me think, how bad did our clothes get damaged in that little tussle? Hmm. Yeah, not... We're not in the best shape in some of these, but probably do a little repair on this down vest. Try to keep these all above 50. That's sort of my goal moving forward because a lot of the, uh, it's weird. In this cave, in this certain little area, it's been a little jerky. I went ahead and updated my drivers. I uh, uh, cleared off a little bit of extra space on my hard drive. It's starting to fill up a little bit. So went ahead and did that but and, and did a restart of the computer. So hopefully that fixes the issue. seems like it has so far. So fingers crossed but uh, it was a little weird at the when I launched the last episode you guys uh, were a few of you noticed that like well, why is it only 300 or 360 uh, resolution uh, on YouTube and I was like man that is a good question it's been like two hours since I'd released the video oh there's the, my attack cat and uh, he has impeccable timing obviously so I was like yeah that is weird because normally after two hours they would uh what happens is, is it starts off, YouTube starts processing videos after it is released and uh, it'll be, uh, you know, with the lowest resolution first, but then gradually within about normally 10-15 minutes, all of the available resolutions will be there for you guys to watch from. But two hours later and it was still at 360 and I'm like, geez, that is really not good. So uh, is that just a branch or seed? We're probably going to want to cut that and have that available for us. Um, oh, another piece of coal. Good thing I did a little backtrack. I found some extra coal to carry around so anyway I'm thinking what we'll do here is we'll just we're gonna extinguish this and let's take a look here it's a little bit cool but we're not gonna we're gonna probably be about here by the time we get done chopping this because it's only one degree of you know we're only we're only getting cold that fast so it's, it's pretty gradual um, how are we doing on wood we got four you know what we got four fir woods that's pretty good we got plenty of tinder um, two cloths might be better served with using this time to actually do a repair. So I think that's what I want to do. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this. In case we get into another wolf attack, um, I think we might lose the, the vest or uh, some of the other weaker items if we do. So let's go ahead and try to repair the best we can with what we have. All right. Hopefully we, we are successful, hopefully. Good deal. All right. So that's up to... Uh, what is that 62% now? That's very good. All right. Um, boots is probably the next item that I want to. Re I don't know if I have the. I think you need leather for that, don't you? Yeah. I don't have that. Okay. I was going to say I was going to do if it if it was cloth, which it wasn't. I was going to do the boots because they're less common than the uh, long underwear. But uh, let's repair the long underwear then. While we're at it, we'll probably end up finding the container with all the uh, all the clothes that we need outside here, but. Um, someone mentioned, "Hey, you got to repair with what you got, not with. You got to repair what you got, not what you uh, hope to have someday." And that's 
it's pretty good words of advice, I think. All right, luminescent blender. There we go. Um, how are we doing? We're not even nearly that cold at all. Let's go ahead and chop this uh, cedar wood. Let's not burn up our lantern while we do it. 27% on the hatchet. Ooh. I want to repair that, actually. That's what I really want to repair. <laughs> I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Sharpen. 12 minutes. Do it. Do it, Doug. It's only going to be 3% increase, but we're going to have to do this several times, so... Sit back and sharpening skill increased to 31. So it makes me think the better you get at sharpening, the more you're going to get out of each attempt. Um, chance of success 100%. So it's not going to change that. It's going to increase the amount that you actually get it sharp. So let's keep going. Let's see what happens here. Now, when we do reach the plane, there will be a whetstone up there. I hope there's at least one for us to, to grab because uh, we will eventually run out of a whetstone. It will gradually deteriorate also, so. 36, I wanna keep this thing, I'm, I'm hoping for, you know, around the 60, 65% mark. And we're gonna check and make sure we're not starving or dying or anything like that, so. Let's get another drink here. We got some foods here. We got some. We actually got four cans of food, so we can and some and some uh, cattails. So we should be all right. All right, back to back to work here. You know what? Let's uh, let's go sharpen somewhere a little more. A little more. Uh, which way do I go? I go up this this hill up here on it. Yeah, let's go sharpen by the cave entrance. It feels a little creepy just sharpening a, <laughs> sharpening a hatchet for 12 minutes, standing next to a dead guy with your lantern off in the middle of a dark, pitch black cave. All right. Keep your eye open for coal. I'm always looking for more coal. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to look at was how much coal I actually had. Okay, well, we'll do that here in a second once we reach the opening of the cave here. We're going to sleep a little bit here, get our condition back up to 100%, and then we're going to uh, poke our head out. We, if You know what? If the weather's really good, we might just seize the opportunity to go explore around the engine real quick. Okay, so let's stand here. Let's turn this off. There we go. That seems a little less creepy. Sometimes you got to role play a little bit, right? That's what she tells me anyway. Mm. All right, good deal. Once we hit 50%, I'm going to check the whetstone. See how it's doing. It was at 27, I think, when we started, wasn't it? Let's check on the whetstone. Oh, it's yeah, 65%, so we got plenty of... Yeah, and we could probably sharpen our our axe or our hatchet. No, man, what the heck am I talking about? Hacksaw. Let's do some sharpening on that. Now, oh, it takes scrap metal. We don't have scrap metal. We're going to need to cut up some scrap metal. Does it just take one scrap metal? Is that what it is? It takes two scrap metal. To repair, so we're gonna need to keep an eye out for for that. Um, I talked to Alan, the uh, lead programmer for Long Dark, and asked him about the uh, whole hatchet thing. And he said that once um, so the lower the 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 quality of the tool, the condition of the tool, the higher the likelihood for a catastrophic failure, which is what happened to me. When it went from 8% to 0, I had a catastrophic failure of my hatchet in the previous uh, the Iron Man series. So that answers that question. There we go. Now, <laughs> I worked two 8-hour shifts these last two days, Thursday and Friday. Now, Saturday, which will be t um, tomorrow, Sunday and Monday, I have to work 12-hour shifts from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern Time. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get three episodes out here and get them all recorded all tonight, which is Friday night, before I go to sleep. And uh, I'd like to get those out to you. Oh, we're at 71%. Oh, what the heck? Let's just keep going. Let's keep that thing in great condition. It would be nice if it was like super sharp like that. It would cut through the wood faster. You know what I mean? Like instead of taking 45 minutes, it would take like 25 minutes. That would be a huge benefit to keeping it like tip top. We're up to four percent condition for each time we uh, 
we do this. So this is nice. This is, this is a nice system they have in place. I like it. So neat. I've been playing this game since day one that's been available to the public and still learning things from it with all these new updates that they do. All right, we'll leave it at 99%. And we'll go over and do our knife up here real quick. Uh, we're down to f oh five percent on our. <laughs> okay, we'll just leave that. It's. I guess it's actually just added weight, right? We really don't need it. Um, we're not going to find anything that's going to need to fight a little bit of a tune-up. So, since the hacksaw can't use it, let's just might, might as well. And then we won't have to carry around the quarter pound of uh, whetstone. So let's do it. I think we get one more use out of it, maybe. Oh, there it goes. I think, yeah, the ruined whetstone. <laughs> All right, well, our tools are in pretty good condition. We just gotta be careful with the hacksaw. Now, when we reach the summit, see, thinking positively, there should be a, a hacksaw available on the ground for us, but uh, we just need to be careful. Okay, so keep an eye. Why am I carrying a lantern? No weapons in the inventory, what the heck? Then I have a, Oh, I don't know. I'm getting my lives mixed up. I thought I had a rifle, but apparently I don't. Getting my lives mixed up here. I was going to say, what in the world is a... What good is a... Uh, lantern going to do me if I come out... Oh, no, I don't want that. If I come out and... and uh, there's a wolf standing right there. Waiting for me. So I guess this is a good little spot to hide hide in right here. You just gotta duck down, kinda crawl into the engine here. Then you can set up a little bed and all that. It's not a bad little spot, but you got that cave over there, might as well use that. That's my thinking anyway. Okay. I think there, there's, maybe it's just a, okay. Maybe there isn't a container over here. I thought that there was. 87% condition still. There's a spot we could attach a rope, but it's not that far to the other side, so. And plus, we're going to come back a different way, I think. So I'm going to hold on to my mountain rope for now, even though it is a whopping 11 pounds. I have a brilliant route planned out in my head, and uh, so it's... <laughs> oh, well, there's some birds. I wonder if this is where the... There's a container over here where these birds are at. Certainly. It looks like it's getting a little foggy. This looks like a dangerous fog starting to roll in, so we're going to need to be careful. Ah, oh, it's a deer. Okay. You know what? I think I might just grab a little bit of meat off this deer if we're not too cold. Let's do that. Let's make a little fire next to it. Now, Attic uh, said, hey, you know what? When it's cold out, you shouldn't make a fire unless it's 20 degrees because you're only going to get about 15 degrees of warmth from that fire and that's not going to be enough to uh, anything lower than that so it's not going to be enough to actually keep you from freezing well my thinking was oh there's a broken arrow too that's good my thinking was you know hey the uh, the warmth from the fire is preventing me from getting cold as fast as I normally would have been so that's what I'm trying to do is just trying to slow down the inevitable not actually prevent it altogether so uh, you know, he, he agreed but once I made that point. But uh, So if you guys are thinking, why are you starting a fire? You're not going to be able to, you know, you're not going to be able to prevent yourself from freezing. Well, that's the reason. So here we go, 15 sticks. Try to get a little bit of meat off of this, and then we can eat because we are a little bit hungry and all that. So probably, I know there's going to be deer hides up at the, uh, up at the, uh, plane that we can grab probably. I think I'm going to grab this deer hide though and leave it in our cave to cure right at the entrance. Because I think this cave is actually going to be our base eventually. That's my plan anyway. Let's just do sticks. Alright, there we go. So, Alright. 93% frozen. Not quite. Oh, we're not going to get much meat off of this. Let's not use the hatchet. Let's see. 15 minutes versus... Eight minutes. Okay. Well, we will be using a hatchet then. I guess I didn't need that much time. There's not that much meat. I was thinking there's going to be a little bit more, but 
guess uh, 45 minutes for the hatchet versus 30 minutes for the knife. So we're going to use the knife. Foggy out, that's why we're getting the question marks. How are we doing with cold? Ah, we're actually warming up. How much are we getting? We're getting 23 degrees off of this. Hmm. It's more than I th was thinking I could get. 20 minutes for that or 40. Okay, let's go 20 minutes for the knife. Get these guts. Now we just need to be a little careful as we walk around. Wow. Really, uh, well, not, not too bad. Let's grab a torch. There we go. Alright, thank you, Fire. You've been good to me. How are we doing? Not even chilled. I was thinking about making a little bit of uh, mushroom tea there real quick, but, uh, eh. We're not that chilled. I need to just be a little extra careful here because we do smell very yummy to the wolves that we can no longer see. <laughs> I thought I heard creaking. I was like, well, if the plane just wants to slide off the top of the summit and meet me at the bottom of the hill, I'm open to that. That would be all right. Okay, there's our engine. Grab a couple sticks here as I go, if I happen to come across any. Yeah, there's a couple. Try to replenish our supply a little bit here. Always good to have wood to burn. What is that? Oh, it's just a limb or a branch. Alright, now that tree kind of seems like it points right towards the cave, so that's sort of like my uh, my little landmark that I used to find the cave. Stick. So, it actually points directly at it. That's, that's pretty nice. I like that. Come on, get up there. Jeez. Let me in, let me in. Alright, so, what we'll do here is, uh, yeah, we're getting ravenous again. Let's go ahead and eat. Um... We got our fire, we got our flame here, so we don't have to worry about burning another match. Uh, let's get a fire started here. See how my water situation is, too. Um, there it is, okay. Birch bark, cattails. Got plenty of tinder, actually, I got too many tinder plugs. Shouldn't be carrying around that much weight, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll just use a uh, birch bark, that's fine. And, uh, we'll use one of these sticks. I think we'll use these sticks. save a stick or two just so we can get another fire started because the sticks are a little easier to start with than the, than the fir wood so don't want to really just leave myself with just fir wood because the odds of me burning a match are uh, a little bit higher where'd it go? did I lose my fire? did it fail? I thought I had it Okay, uh, somehow I managed to not be able to start a fire even though I have a torch, a flaming torch. Alright, whatever. Let's do it. Let's try again. Now, I wonder, can I increase my skill by just grabbing a stick, starting a fire, grabbing a stick, starting a fire, grabbing a stick with a torch? I wonder if I start multiple end aisles. I'm going to try that. And then I'm also going to test out to see if I can get, like, if I put a bunch of fires around me, if I'll get extra, extra heat from it. So maybe when I'm outside, if I'm only getting 20 degrees worth of heat, I can actually artificially increase that. So let's throw a stick on here, just so we have enough time to, to test this. Let's do this. We're going to test this theory out here real quick. So what's the temperature at right now? 45 degrees. We're getting... It's, it's, it's going up, too, so... 45 degrees, alright. So I put two sticks on there. Let's see if this actually increases my skill by doing this, this again. With the same torch. It 
This might be a way to actually uh, survive out there if we're really super... I don't know, that other fire's going to burn out, isn't it? It's going to be embers by the time this one gets going. I don't know how much time is elapsed in here. Oh, it's six minutes, okay. So 1.8, let's see here. Did my skill go up? I did not notice. Probably did, uh, but I'm not sure. One minute left there. Let's let's just add the fuel here. All right. Hopefully we can. I think we can cook the steak on that. I think we'll have enough time. Since it's a partial, normally a full steak will take 20 minutes. I will die if I don't get food soon. I'm trying to help you out with that. Embers. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and eat that. I think the steak should be hot too, coming straight off the grill. I think that should be hot meat, you know. 609 calories. It's worth it. It was worth it. Alright. Let's go ahead and eat. Now that guy who drank peaches. his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right about now. <laughs> That's alright. I'll get you some fluids here. Don't you worry. All right, well, it's an interesting experiment. I don't know that it really helped that much, but I think I really have to get these fires burning pretty intense to, to really be able to tell, so. Let's, <laughs> I, was just, I was just about to say, I wonder when my flare's gonna go up. All right, so let's drop that hide in the guts here next to these fire, next to the fire here. We'll trip over it on the way when we come back through here anyway, so it's not gonna be hard to find. But this way at least they're curing. There we go. Very nice. Six coal, that's pretty good. All right, let's head on to the other side where we'll rest, um, get our condition up to 100%, and then we'll be ready to jump off and try to go up the next rope and uh, seek shelter. We have plenty of coal, plenty of wood, fir wood to be exact. Uh, to survive the night if we do have to keep a fire going all night in a non-explorable cave. So we should be okay. I could go ahead and grab some more wood here if I wanted. How much are we, what's our weight at? 55. I think it might be a good idea actually. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be a good idea. Let's do that. One thing I never am doing is, oh, I've, ca I've got too much cedar wood. I've got too much fir wood here. What am I going to do when I've been trying to summit? What's this? Oh, that's a branch. Okay, let's go. What's our weight up to now? 58. Ah, it wasn't much at all. But now we have like seven good pieces of solid wood plus six pieces of coal. I mean, we're in pretty good shape for fire. Uh, oops, I need to turn this way. Still keeping my eye on the ground there for extra bits of coal. I'm sure that I've missed one or two here or there. All right. Well, let's let's just push on here. Oh, is this the wrong way? I don't think so. I think this is the one that goes in a circle, right? So it'll turn this way, and then it'll have an exit to the left here. So, what we're going to do here is we are just going to rest and uh, recuperate a little bit here. Okay, let's do that. Let's get the bed roll down here. Um, do we need a drink? We probably actually need to start a fire just to get some water. We're in pretty good shape. Um, we'll do that just before we leave so we can get warm back up too. Um, so, let's, let's get some rest here. Less than one hour daylight left. We're going to want to sleep the whole night here. We're going to need some more water. Yeah, we might as well just go ahead and cook it up now. So, let's make yet another fire. Oops. 
Eh. Doesn't really matter. That's fine. I think if we get ourselves... We're going to have to definitely start a fire once we get to the next cave to warm up. So I don't really want to carry a bunch of water and get real fatigued. <sighs> we failed. I failed. I uh, don't want to really carry a lot of water and get fatigued climbing the rope because the weight that we're carrying around does affect how much um, stamina we have, how much energy we have going up those ropes and whatnot. So while we could make a, a, a long fire and get a bunch of water to make us all the way to the summit, I think it'd be better just to do little fires here and there, increase our fire starting skill as we go, and then, um, you know, make make water as we go. Because we're going to need to also cook up some food and eat it too. So how much time we got left? 52 minutes? All right, that should be good enough for about that much. Do a little less than a half a gallon. There we go. Could probably do another little bit, but and then and then boil it on our embers. But I'm not going to risk it. This should only take about 13, 14 minutes. Yeah, actually, I think we probably calculated that just about perfect. Okay, well now that we're all warm again, tired, hungry, let's get some rest. Let's go ahead and sleep for eight. Get up, get a drink, and then. Uh, should be 100% condition when we wake up. Get a drink and then we'll sleep for the remaining little bit of the night and uh, move on. Probably get started in the next episode. Well, basically all we did was we managed to go out and get some gear guts and get prepped for the next trip. And oh, oh I hear, I hear the sound of uh, wind out there. <laughs> all right, well. Let's go ahead and eat up some soup here. Hmm. Kind of want to... Now, if I eat hot food, will that actually give me a bonus? That I'm not sure about. Well, let's just eat. We need to eat. So, so we can always do the peaches if we have to. I can... I can I'm going to probably eat the dog food and save the peaches. I know you get a quick burst of warmth. I don't know if it stays with you like um, coffee and tea do. I don't know if it does. I'm trying to remember. Okay. Much better. Alright. Where are we at? Wrong way. Which way? Oh, is that... That's outside? Okay, well, it's still dark outside, so... Let's drop our bedroll here again. I think it's probably be a good, good time to stop the episode. Uh, let's just double check our condition. 100% good deal. All right. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, we're getting ready to make another move in the next episode. So, like, comment, subscribe, hit the tip jar, or head on over to patreoncom accuracy 2 if you want to be a producer on this series and pledge as little as one dollar per month. You can, you can do that. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support and. Uh, Timberwolf Mountain has definitely been a, a, a big learning curve for me, so I appreciate your patience as well. Y'all take care wherever you're at tonight. Bye.